Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all having a great Tuesday. Well, today is Floss Tube Day. It is August 22nd, 2023. And this is my 190th Floss Tube. And we have our August Green Cup. And today we just have coffee. What a week. Yeah. It didn't seem like it when it was happening, but yeah, it was a week. I had two trips to Walmart in one week in under, what was that, four days? Holy cow. Yeah, not my idea of a good time. But we got it done. We got everything done we were supposed to. And today is actually my son's birthday. He is 39 today, I think. Wow. Wow. Makes me feel really, really old. So, let's see. Yesterday was, yeah. It, it, it was kind of slow. I mean, actually, all things considered. Or else it just kind of went along and we were done in no time. I left at 2 o'clock because it was so slow. So, yeah. So, what happened last week? I had four reviews, six new starts. Yeah, we needed six new starts, right? And I worked on four other things besides everything else. Yeah. So we did a, a few things last week. So I guess we'll start with the starts. This one is from Biggest Craft. And it, I call it trees and flowers. I don't know what else to call it. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. I don't know if you could see it or not. There we go. And it is a 50 by 50. And it's on that new, <coughs> excuse me, new uh, material. So it's nice and pliable. So, I got a little bit of it done. I got some of the black done on the outline, and then I got some of that gold. So, you can kind of see where I went. You can't tell on the pattern. It is kind of confetti. I didn't get very far. So, yeah, I had other things I was looking at. So, we'll work on it again this week. Trying not to we're just gonna make a pile and the next one is orange flowers from and the butterfly from um, FG normal I'll put a picture there and they're they're supposed to be lotus I didn't know that there was a butterfly there but Probably is. I'm not real sure. Can't remember. So, just got this little bit of bright, bright orange done. It goes right up to the fold there. Yeah. Didn't get much on it done. I don't know. And it's an 11 count. So, I guess I had other things on my mind. And we started my Shanghai lady. Just reminds me of the ladies in Shanghai in the 20s and 30s. Teens, 20s, and 30s. So, yeah. So I worked on her. And we're up at the top in this corner. So basically all I got was part of that corner done. I just didn't know where else to go. Hang on my hold that thought. Oh, I thought it was I started working on her face. But yeah, something came along and yeah. But I really like it. So I think it's gonna be like the birds and or the trees and the flowers. Yeah. It, It'll be like a consistent look because you have all that consistency like right up in here. 
it's almost symmetrical except for her in the middle. So there's a lot of that to do and then it comes down that, that side. So, yeah. We'll see. And the next one is my... Get it out of the bag before I keep talking. Get it out of there. This is my... Uh, working on it. 16 count like woodsy dragon. I couldn't think what I called it. With all the leaves and stuff. I'm trying. It does not like that white, does it? Holy cow. Oh, well, you get the point. So I worked on it for a while. You don't get very far very fast. So I just got that brown color. That's why you can't see it. Sorry. So just working right up in here. So, yeah. Put that in there so I don't lose it. And let's see. Which one? No. Then the next one, I believe it's the Dragonfly. And it is from Biggest Craft. Hang on, it's actually got a picture. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So I did quite a bit on it. And I'm working down here in this corner. So as you can see, I got all of that part done. I didn't finish the flower or anything. I hopped over to the black to kind of outline it, to bring it out. And I did work up here just trying to finish off a, a strand. So, yep, it's, it's coming. There we go. Maybe you can see it better. So, yeah, it's been fun to work on. I like that one. I'm trying to get that. Then, you know, as if all that wasn't enough, you know, I had to have a new start on my own. So I put a couple, not whole days, but I would stitch like two or three. Just depends how I felt. A couple of uh, threads. Every time I picked it up. So, oh, it probably helps if I show you through the picture. So, it's Merry Christmas, and I thought I might as well get it started. It's not that big. So, I started with this flower. I want to get it. Yeah, this flower. Or, yeah, poinsettia. Yeah. So, I got two, probably two to three strands of two colors. And you really can't tell. One is 666 red, and the other one is 321. So it's coming along, and it's fairly easy. There's a lot of confetti. Don't let me kid you. Like, here's the other flower, so there's a lot of confetti right there. But I just thought, well, I'll start with the, the flowers and just kind of go from there. But as you can see, it's not very big. Yeah, and I just really liked it. So, started it. So, I would, like, do that for a while, and then I'd go do something else, and yeah, I just do that. All right. So, that was the end of the new starts. I train. Holy cow. Didn't know it's going to be such a big deal. All right, so this is my rainbow dragon. I put some more work into it. Hang on, I try to get a hold of all the, the dang threads. So I know it never really looks like I've done a whole lot. Hang on. But from the back, you can see how much. Don't don't judge my back, please. So I worked 
up in here. I worked over here for a while, filling in confetti places. I worked over here trying to get this, you know, started and done and all that. And then a little bit down, going down his neck, but I just love this. And it's easy. I can just pick a color and go, you know, wherever it goes. And as you can see, I've got my thread already. So, yeah, I like this one a lot. And I like them, like it only because, not only, but because it is so easy to stitch on. You can pick it up, pick a color, and just stitch. You don't have to worry about confetti. Just, just stitch the big parts. Okay. This one was from Paint Some Way. I worked a little bit on it. We started on this episode, right up in here in this light blue, but I had done this part here. So, yeah. And it's another one, big areas. I like that part. It is, I'm sorry. We're doing everything backwards today. Fun time, huh? It's the blue flowers. It's just so pretty. I just love all those colors of blue. It's just gorgeous. And this one. Get it out. Hang on. This is another big one. Trying to. It is my, I call it Asian Palace. It's the pagoda thing up on top, and there's another couple buildings right in here. But it has nice, pretty turquoises and teals, and and it's huge. It is 55 by 95, so I worked on it last night, and I don't know how I can hold this up. So I've almost got the second tier across done and I'm working on filling in on the sides so there's a bit of confetti in there so yep we're making progress on that I like this one too but it's it's more you got to think about it I mean it has confetti and I'm still trying to do the big spots And then, last night, I don't know what ever possessed me, but, yeah. Get this. Hang on. And this is the uh, sampler from FG Normer, Normal, if I could just talk. So, I'm working this whole section right in here. So... I worked a little bit on this section, trying to finish all of that, we'll call it red part, if you will. It's more of a magenta-ish. And I finished that little butterfly. It was really easy, so got that done. But just picked it up, worked on it for an hour or two. No big deal. So just felt like it. it's... Very nice. I like this one, too. And it's 58 by 59 as well. And that, folks, is everything that I worked on. Oh, gosh. It is 65 degrees here today. I think it's supposed to get in the 80s, so why not? Yesterday, I went to work at 9. I mean, 10. I didn't think what day it was. 10 o'clock, and I got home by, well, I had to run to the store. I didn't know what I was going to do, so I just ran to the store and got a frozen pizza. It was just easy. Not much into cook, cook, cooking. But yeah, and then I ran the oven for 25, 30 minutes. Yeah, so it made the house even hotter. But I, what I started telling was that I didn't turn on the air conditioner before I left. And some days I don't even turn it on till noon, you know, so it depends. But yeah, it was pretty much hot the rest of the evening.
but I, you know, I spent a lot of time trying to cool off the house. So today when I leave, I'll turn on the air conditioning and it'll rain. That, that, that's just how that happens. It's like, come on. So yeah, I did a little bit of, of stuff. I don't know. It's just kind of, it seems helter skelter. And there were ones that I really wanted to start. So we'll see. I ordered another one of my little, I ordered this. I gotta set that down before I drop it. Um, this footstool, and it has like a leatherish, it's not leather, uh, vinyl, vinyl tufted top, you know, it's kind of squishy, you know. And when you take the top off, it has this little bit of storage space area, you know, and it's probably 13 inches high, maybe 17 to 20 inches across, and then it's 13 inches the other way. So I bought, I've got one two weeks ago, and then I got another one here this last week or so. So I'll have two of them to sit there, you know. And it says it will hold like 300 pounds. So, I mean, a force of somebody sitting on it. So, so well, that, that's kind of good. Yeah. So, I got another one of them coming. And I was getting it for the storage space. And that way, all this stuff that I work on, you know, like on a daily basis or really want to work on, I keep right there. But it would be easier and better if I put it in that little thing and then I just lift it up get what I needed <sighs> yeah and the cat doesn't bother them you know because they're all in this kind of a bag or it's in this kind of bag you know all done up or it's in one of my ziplocs and she hadn't even messed with it so you know we won't mind but it'd be nice to just so it wasn't under my feet so much other than that, we'll probably have reviews this week, and I'll do Stitch With Me. There will not probably be a Stitch With Me today after Flosstube. Yeah, I just don't have it in me. I, I don't know. I've been tired. I don't know if it's because it's getting dark earlier, or, or what, or the weather is getting cooler. I mean, it's been in the 80s, so it's been not burning up. You know, but I don't know. This morning, I didn't get up until 8.15. And I went to bed maybe at 1 o'clock. So, yeah, I just slept right through. And then today is Tuesday, so I got to work 2 to 10. So I know I'll be tired by the time I get home tonight. And the same with tomorrow. 2 to 10, and we've got the order, so we'll see. So, no grand plans. Yeah, nothing that I know of. Nobody's going anywhere or doing anything. And if, if we do, you'll be the probably the first ones to know about it. You know, my daughter. Now, she started, so she worked Sunday, Monday, and today. So we'll see how much energy she has to go anywhere. The kids start school on Thursday. So, yay. We'll see. It, it might be a transition week for them, you know, and us. As, I don't know. And I don't have a clue how busy it's going to be at work. So, yeah. But it is starting to slow down during the week, which is nice and you know, there's been a lot of people like if I go to the grocery store or the dollar store or whatever. There's still a lot of people moving around on the weekend. Now, I don't know if that was just because it's the last weekend before school starts. There's people moving around. I got nothing. So, we'll see. We're just going to play it by ear like we always do. Well, thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.